eternal life. Eternal life is a gift of God in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. He's alive. He gave his life for you and for me that we can be forgiven. Who are you? Carmen. My name is Carmen. Carmelo. Who are you representing? Nobody. I'm with Jesus. No organization. Here. No organization? No organization. Yeah. My name is on the back of that you can see. You follow witness? No. no. Christian. Yes, sir, I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus. Yes. You like one? Who are you representing? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I wrote that myself in English. Somebody translated into Serbian for me. Jesus Christ. He lives. You can do that. It's against the law. Jesus said to go into the... Jesus said to go into the... I'm telling you nicely. I understand. What you're doing is against the law. Okay, what's your name? My name is Boško. Boško? I can give you my personal ID. I'm an attorney. You cannot do that. Okay, Boško, I'd like to say something. And I say I'm just, this... I'm just telling you. Be careful. I what understand. you're doing is against the law. Okay, I understand. You can do that. Thank you for letting me know. You can sit there yeah. with a book, yeah. but to have that on a wireless speaker, yeah. proclaiming whatever you are proclaiming. I'm proclaiming the gospel. It doesn't matter. You cannot do that. It's against the law in Serbia. Okay, can I say something before you go? Yeah. Go ahead. I just wanted to say that this is a Christian country, right? Yes, it is. And there's freedom of speech, there's freedom to No, 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 this uh, is not on. America. Okay, but, hold on. But the, but this, this is Serbia. Okay, let me ask you I'm a question. I'm telling you nicely, it's against the law. Okay, let me ask you a question. If you st do not stop doing what you're doing, I'm going to call the police. Can I ask you a question? I'm serious. Uh, uh, you can call the police, but yeah. I want to ask you a question. I'm going to call the police right now. You won't even this let me speak. This is who I am. You won't let me speak. No, no, no. This is who I am. This, okay. is, this is Serbian ID. Okay. okay. This is true. US ID. Okay. So what I'm telling you, my friend. Yes. What you are doing in Serbia is against the fucking law in Serbia. Okay. Stop doing what you are doing. Can I ask you a question? Or you are going to end up in jail. Can I ask you a question? And spend the night there. Of there is so. no reason to ask me any so. question. You're an attorney, right? I'm telling you you're nicely. A, you're an attorney, right? For your, I have a question because I'm for ignorant your well and I want to know. For your I'm well ignorant and I want to know. If you don't want to spend the night in jail, stop doing Boško. The way you are doing this, stop doing it. Boško. Sit there and be nice. Boško. Can, I just, can, can I just, flyers, ask, can I just ask you a question? I Go don't ahead. understand why you can't Go just... Ahead. Okay. Ask whatever you want. Is there ask. not freedom to practice religion in this country? That's, that's what I read no, in the no. Constitution. There's you freedom to, to pra church. practice your religion. Go. Did you ever visit at any of, of yes, Serbian churches? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I've I've gone to do they Slava, practice I've like you're practicing? On the public square? No. On the, no, on the Republic the square the with, the, with the and microphone the and this? And that's the problem. Because it's Jesus, problem. Jesus, if you problem. truly... If you truly not, this is against the law. Okay. Do you, you know, understand you know, English? Okay. It's against the fucking law. I understand. You're going to spend the night in jail. Bosco. If you, Bosco, if you I, I want to say this, and I say this with all due respect and no, love for I'm you. you I just want to say I this. I don't hate you. I'm just telling you it's against the, the law. The disciples, Jesus' disciples. Be, be careful what you're right? doing. Including Peter, right? They Somebody's going to call they're, the they're police. Arrested. I'm going to call the police. They're, you're going to uh, spend night okay, in jail. Okay, if you want to call the police, Bosco, you can. But but you can't have a conversation, so you have a you have something to hide. Because Jesus, Jesus said to go into all the world and preach the gospel. This is a command of Jesus Christ. Good evening, Belgrade. We hope that you're doing well tonight. There's a few of us that are here tonight. And we're here to give you some good news. And the good news is that Jesus Christ is alive. The King is risen. The one that died for us, he's seated at the right hand of God. And we have information if you'd like. It's for free. We have it in Serbian, English, Italian. So if you'd like one, take one. The Word of God is contained within. And when we read the Word of God, it says these words. It says that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. 
that God sent his son into this world not to condemn the world but that through him through Jesus Christ the world might be saved Srpski, Srpski Srpski, take, take for free okay, Bože Blagoslov Jesus Christos Gospodar Jesus Christos je Gospodar <laughs> and this is the good news brother let's just keep going let's hear. this is the good news that Jesus lives and because he lives we can live because salvation is found in no other there is no name given among men other than Jesus Christ whereby we can be saved Jesus Christ, the Son of God that died for us. On the third day rose again from the grave. And he sits at the right hand of God and he will come again in glory. This is what the Bible says. The Word of God. The Word of God that we all must know. Because this is the truth. And the Bible says, let God be true and all men be liars. Jesus Christ is the truth. And he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said that nobody will come to the Father but by me. He said that he's the way to God. He said that he's the very life that we have, it's from him and he is the way of salvation there's not two ways there's not many ways Jesus Christ said that he's the only way the Son of God said he's the only way to get to the Father and this is the truth of what the Word of God says and we must submit to the Word of God and we will face the Word of God in judgment this is, the this is the choice that we have. It's not God's will that any would perish. God sent His Son to sacrifice Himself for us. This is the love that God had towards us. That while we were yet sinners, Jesus Christ died for us. But He didn't stay dead. He went in the tomb. And three days later he rose to life. And Jesus Christ is alive. And there is salvation in his name. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You shall be saved. This is how salvation comes. Through Jesus Christ. The Son of God that died. The one that rose again. And the one who is alive. You? God bless you. God bless you. Why? Because you cannot do what you do. It's against the law. You already told me this last year. Yeah, I will tell you again. Okay. In a different way because you did not remember. Okay, my friend, I forgot your name. Yeah, this is against the law. This is against the law. Okay. What you're doing is against the law. You want, you want to see the letter from the police? I don't give a shit. Okay. You will see. What's your name? Bob. Bob. No, it's not Bob. I remember yes. you took your ID out. You're American yeah. and you're from here. Yes. But I forgot you your name. I'm do sorry. What you're doing. No, well, no. God bless you. We're going to continue. Fuck off. Okay. You are not welcome to do what you're doing. Well, I Jesus. told you in a nice way. It's not about Jesus. It's yes, about it, it's about it's, it's, No, it's about Jesus. Not from any organization. Nobody sent us. Jesus Christ said to go into the world and preach the gospel. So I'm not sure why you're so hostile towards it. I have police authorization. If you'd like to see the letter, I'll even show you. Okay. So God bless you. And this is why people come against the gospel. You know, the same thing happened when the apostles went out to preach. When, when 
the apostles of Jesus Christ went out to preach the gospel, you had a lot of the religious leaders that were against them. And they even arrested them. They beat them. They gave them a lot of problems. And they said, don't preach anymore in this name. And the conclusion that the apostles came to Peter, who was one of the apostles. Peter was one of the apostles. He said, we ought to obey God rather than men. So we obey God. And we want to also obey the laws of the land. And the laws of the land here in Serbia, for that man who's a lawyer that doesn't know, is that we have the right to practice our faith. And something that Jesus commanded his people is that we Christians would go into the world and preach the gospel to teach all nations. This is a command of Jesus Christ. And thank God that we have the right to do that here. This is what people fought for. They fought for the rights of the people. And it's in the Constitution of Serbia. Okay. Sad članom 43, dobro, okay, Republike Srbije. And this is the law of the land. That there is a right to practice religion. And if we call ourselves Christians, then we better do what our Lord told us to do. And this is what I see in a lot of the places in the world. A lot of people that call themselves Christians, but not obedient to the Lord. And this is what Jesus said in the book of Mark. Chapter 16. Chapter 16. You can just you can just listen because it's easy. Okay. Yes, he said, go, go into all the world and preach the gospel. He that believes and is baptized will be saved. But he that doesn't believe will be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they will cast out devils. They will speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So I want to know tonight, if we call ourselves Christians, are we going into the world and preaching the gospel? There's many people that are dying in their sins. There's many people that after they go through this life, they end up in hell. Because they didn't know. Nobody told them. There's many people that die in their sins and go to hell. And this is not God's will. This is why he sent his son, Jesus Christ. He sent his son that we could have life and life more abundantly. That we find life in his son and go tell others. This is the great commission. The great commission, the great commandment. When we read the Gospels, when we see Jesus before He ascends, He commands His church to go out, to go preach the good news, because it's good news that Jesus Christ is alive. 
It's good news that we can be forgiven. It's good news that we can have eternal life. And this is the news that Jesus wants us to tell the whole world. That God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. And this life is in Jesus Christ. So I want to know tonight have you found life? Have you found peace? This is the true peace that we can have with God. To know that our sins are forgiven. To know that we have a place in His kingdom. Because the kingdom of God is at hand. And the Bible commands. It, it tells us to repent. To believe the gospel. To believe in the coming kingdom. And Jesus Christ is the coming king. And, and this is where we can have peace with God. Knowing we have a place in eternity. This life is only for a time. And who are you? Me? Just a servant of God. Slava Bogu. Bože Blagoslav. This is why we're here. Because we are disciples of Jesus Christ. Because we follow our King. We follow His commandments. That God would be glorified. That souls would be saved. That we would declare the good news to the people. Just keep. Yeah. We're preaching right now. Okay. Yes, I met you before. I met you, and and, and yes. Yes. <laughs> Good to see you. You are see on Facebook like this, everything, man. Slava Bogu. We'll talk later, okay? Because we're preaching right now, okay? Or you can talk to him or talk to her, okay? Okay. Yes, this is the gospel. The good news of Jesus Christ. That while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That the King died for us, that we would be, that we would be cleansed from our sin. He gave His blood for us. That we can be cleansed. That we can be washed clean. And we cannot clean ourselves. There's no amount of good deeds that erase the, the bad that we've done. Because this is the problem for us that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And this is the human condition. There's nobody that's better than another. We have all sinned against God. We all need His mercy. We all need His forgiveness. Because sin does not enter into the kingdom of God. This is why Jesus had to come. He is the only perfect one. He is the one that lived the life that you and I couldn't live. The only perfect man there's ever been is Jesus Christ. The Son of God. The risen Savior. And the coming King. Meet Him today. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Jesus is alive. He's not dead. And when He comes again, He's not coming as a baby. He's not coming to go back to the cross. He's coming to judge this world. He's coming to judge the wickedness in this world. Which, which side of Him will we be on? It all depends on what we do with Him tonight. What we do with Him in this life. And the Bible says that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. 
And believe in your heart that God raised them from the dead. That you shall be saved. Because Jesus Christ is life from the dead. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. Jesus said, I am the door. He who enters in through me, he shall be saved. He is the door to the kingdom of God. He is the door of salvation. He is the one that we go to to receive eternal life. And he is the one that's calling us tonight to have a relationship with him. It's not enough. It's not enough just to go to church. We must have a relationship with God. We must speak to God, pray. When we read the Bible, this is how God speaks to us. The Word of God is the truth. This is the life. And this is what we... Yes. Sorry? Uh, you have to show ID? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you have to show just your... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. 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 I remember, I thought it was... Let him know if he wants, if there's a couple complaints from here, we can go to another location just to... Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, some of the Malo. 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 He stopped me last year. He said he's a lawyer. He said if I don't stop, I'm going to go to jail, and all these things, right? Yeah. So this is the second time I've seen him, and I thought it was him. And then when he started speaking, okay, yeah, actually, yeah. I forgot his name. We, we saw him on Tuesday with his wife, and we, we said I like, gave to his wife, and she said, "Don't even try. You remember?" Like, said, that's the girl. That's, that's the same. The wife. The, She's okay. the, the guy was sitting there, and the wife was like, "Don't even try." <laughs> Okay. Uh, he so, he yeah. said like if we can a little bit to you know, lower. Okay. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll go a little bit longer, and then I was thinking to go to the crosswalk at Kalamegdin anyway. Yeah, okay. So we'll do that. We'll go a little bit longer, and then yeah. we'll go there. No problem. And that's why I said, you know, let him know. Just, we want to help them because they're getting calls. Yeah, he, he, so see, we, we can see that he, he doesn't even want to say anything to us. Yeah, but yeah. just to help him out, we can go somewhere else. And he has to show up. <laughs>